master rank. We're going to see if we can be the first ever to get it. We have survived the first corner, heading up our Rouge. Will we survive this? I'm betting the house on someone. Yep, there we go. More than a few someones. This race really has come together. I only had to overtake like one person legitimately. The rest have all just fallen by the wayside. We've Stephen Bradbury this one. P1. Thank you. Let's move stick leaving space. He's actually played it really well there. He's done the over and under, got a better exit, and now he's coming back at us. More than coming back at us. Giving us the big squeeze. And that was the Bahrain Grand Prix. Five wins from five. How did this happen? What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. We are back once again with our Road to Master Rank. I'm not really too sure what I should call this series, but if you have any good suggestions, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for the first uh, video, the support that you guys showed on that was amazing. So if we could keep up that support throughout this series, however many thousand episodes it will be, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, like you saw at the start of the video, we started off our journey, we got our gold ranking, and we're only technically one rank away from uh, the master rank, but we need to get through all the echelons of gold to get there. The journey starts now. Away we go for another race at the Belgian Grand Prix. I don't know what it is about these ranked lobbies, but the public wants pa, spa, pa. Yep, public one's par. Okay, cool. We'll roll with that. The start was interesting. Turn one, I dive bombed quite a few cars. A few people jumped the start as well. I nearly got caught out by all that shenanigans. Oh, Rouge. Didn't get caught out this time, and away we go. Worth noting that since we uh, didn't join for the start of qualifying, we only joined for this race, uh, we only have the default setup on. So this is going to make things a little bit more difficult for us in this episode, but we'll... Uh, See what we can do with our 6-6 wings with harder opponents. I don't think I mentioned this, but yeah, now that we're in gold, we have a whole lot more silver and bronze players uh, in this lobby. Uh, a lot of the people that I raced in the first episode were unranked and didn't have one for some reason. And I just literally thought that was it. That was the entire player base of PC. But I was wrong. And I'm glad I'm wrong because the game obviously isn't as dead as what I thought it was. You know... The online lobbies were a lot deader than this in F1 2017 and 2016. You could barely find a, a full lobby uh, back in the day, but now it looks like it's somewhat thriving again. Codemasters, you're doing something right. I'll give you some... Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the music. Let's uh, have a replay of that because that was absolutely terrifying. I give Codemasters some praise and um, yeah, I nearly die twice. The Force India, following this Mercedes, or is it a Mercedes? It's probably a Williams. Gives them the big old pit maneuver. The Williams comes back at me. He was already out of the Grand Prix. Then there was a random Ferrari out of the Grand Prix. Thankfully, because they were already dead, they were ghosted. <sighs> right, I need to buy a lottery ticket. I don't think I'll get that lucky again. We are able to progress in this race. Lap 2. It's still only lap 2. So much has happened in this Grand Prix. I need to lie down. I am not ready to, to embark on another set of 5 or 6 races or however many r things this video is going to be. Because we do need to charge through a lot of races to get to Master Rank. Anyway, around the outside into the bus stop chicane. Don't mind if I do. That is P4 for the taking. Normally, I'm running like 90% brake pressure. I only have like 70 or yeah, something like that. And I was able to go around the outside in that manner. That was tasty. Lap 3, the Force India coming back at me here with his custom setup. How dare you with your DRS and your slipstream and your everything else. I tried to go around the outside of him again like an absolute hero, but I couldn't pull it off. He actually missed the apex by quite some margin. Prevented me from doing that and now we're all over him in the middle sector let's see if we can do the under and over we committed him to the inside he's gone in too deep and we take p4 thank you very much that was the belgian grand prix attempt number three or four i can't bloody remember we've done so many at this point we gained some ranking which was cool considering um it was p4 and we're the highest rated person in the lobby i i thought that my the expectation was for me to win 
but it, it's good to see that I'm not expected to win um, in order to improve my ranking, which is nice. We move on to Brazil, where I do have a setup on, and we do have pole position. The gap, four tenths. So, the margins in this one are a lot closer, but it seems we do have a little bit of pace, which is quite nice to see. Five red lights, and away we go for our first proper attempt in episode two of Road to Master Rank. Heading into turn one, fairly clean. It's uh, nice to see that no one does the big old dive bombs in a turn one. We haven't died too many times, and I guess everyone is looking after their own rank as well, but we're trying to set off into the distance, Sebastian Vettel style. Okay, but uh, this Yano guy has other ideas. He's really keeping me honest here in this race. And uh, one thing I will uh, spoil for you guys is his pace got better and better as the race went on. You know, I did go purple there on lap three, but I think he actually went purple again on lap four and was starting to close me in a bit. So it was uh, quite tense heading into this last lap of the Grand Prix. You can see I've not got any battery left. I've not got any fuel left, um, but it is pretty likely that we'll hold on to this. We just need to make sure that we don't run out of fuel um, or ERS on the run up to the uh, start finish line. That was the only way I was going to lose this race. He wasn't going to overtake me um, and we managed to uh, negate that. He actually got tangled up with the lap car unfortunately but he still got P2. I still got P1 and uh, we're able to come away with some more points. Now does that help the ranking? A bit better. You know, you only gain like 20 or 30 points, even when I do win. So, it's it's going to be a grind uh, trying to get this master rank. I, I saw in the last video, someone said that you need like 2,600 points, there or thereabouts, to get master rank. So, we'll need about, I don't know, 10, 20 more races like this and we might be there. But that's going to be such a grind. Mission failed. We'll get next time. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, do you know what I just did there? Because I know what I just did there. I just progressed into qualifying without loading a setup. Awesome. So we head into the French Grand Prix. Six six wings on a power track. Probably the most ridiculous power track we have on F1 2018. I got P2. Which, you know, I'm happy with, um, but, uh, oh man, I'm not liking my chances for this race. Uh, I'm going to be an absolute sailboat heading against the current in a straight line. And in the corners, well, it's not going to be too flashy either. Away we go for the French Grand Prix. It's not been a great start, but we do hold on to P2. Uh, I think this race is going to be all about damage limitation, but we'll see if we can cling on to X Zotac. For dear life and uh, maybe snag a, a victory or two. How can you snag two victories out of one race? Riddle me that. We're in the slipstream though. We're looking pretty quick at this stage. Of course, slipstream really looking after me here as we head into the little chicane separating the two back straights. Had a bit of a tank slapper, but we get the move done and into P1. But uh, how long is this going to last? We'll have to wait and see. We are, like I said, a bit of a sailboat in a straight line. The thing I was actually struggling with the most was actually rotating the car. I'm normally used to like, having like nine ballast, and I only have six. And, you know, the car isn't as stiff, isn't as responsive as what it normally is, so I really am suffering through the corners. But we are fighting our hardest to absolutely hold on to this position if we can. Zotax gets us back around the outside into the first sequence of corners. We're just about able to hold on to him on the straight. Uh, if if it weren't for the DRS or the slipstream, he'd be soaring off into the distance. So I just need to make sure he doesn't get outside of one second. Otherwise, my true lack of pace will really show. So I'm really just clinging onto him like a koala on a mother's back. Don't want to fall onto the eucalyptus tree because that would not be the ideal scenario to be in. We are still holding on. Uh, Zotac might be struggling uh, a little bit as this race uh, wears on. Uh, I don't know if he's got a custom setup on or not, but if he does, his tires may start to struggle a little bit more than what mine will towards the end of the race. So uh, we'll have to play into that if we can. Up the inside into turn one. This is the last lap of the Grand Prix. I'm praying that he's been a little bit uh, bad with his fuel and ERS management. That might give us a chance to win this Grand Prix in that manner if we 
uh, can capitalize on that. We really need to set up this move here on this back straight. Let's see if we can get a nice exit here. Try and hug the inside and get on the power as early as you possibly can. He's got a nice exit though. That's why me feeling like I uh, maximized that to the full potential of the car. But here we are in the slipstream in the DRS. Um, high fuel and ERS modes are engaged. But now breaking for this little chicane. He's really bad here, I've noticed, but he still recovers really well on the exit. That's not a good exit this time. And now, this is our best chance of the Grand Prix. Overtake mode is engaged. Not much fuel left. If you look to the bottom right, we have to make this move now into this fast right-hander. Does he... Oh, he's not really losing much speed, is he? But we uh, dive to the inside, tried to have a, go, have a go, but it just didn't quite work out. We're running out of opportunities now to win this Grand Prix. Zotac looks like he's got the ascendancy at the moment. He's cut the corner. He's uh, looking a little bit weary here as we head into the final couple corners here. Let's see if we can set up the move and maybe go for a dive bomb into the last one. He's run wide completely. And that is our last chance. Tried to go around the outside, but he was kind of just parked in the middle and we couldn't do a thing about it. P2. GG to Zotac. That was quite the sweaty battle. He gets ascendancy in this race. We'll have to get him back in the next one. What does that say for our rank? We've up another like 10 or 15 tops and uh, we actually lose safety rating. How? I don't, I don't know. I think we uh, lose points for whenever we corner cut and I think I did have a couple of warnings in that one. Anyway, we move on to Bahrain. I had my setup loaded but I go and stuff it up on a really good lap. So that was that, 15th place and last, disqualified from qualifying, so we have to do it all from the back here. Five red lights and away we go for almost this handicap challenge of Road to Master Rank. I just can't put together a good weekend it seems, heading into turn one, getting the big squeeze from the big brother Red Bull. And uh, turn one, that is just horrific scenes. Nobody wants to see that. I've got an illegal overtake for the Renault. When did I overtake him illegally? Codemasters. I gave you a praise earlier. Don't make me take that back. Turn four. A uh, bit of carnage was ensuing on the inside. We uh, managed to pick up a couple of places there. The Renault is all over the place. Don't blame him, to be honest. There is a lot of traffic up ahead. He's run wide. Let's see if he can stuff it up even more on the exit, which he does not. So let's go up the inside, maybe into this triple left-hander. Yeah, that's always nasty in traffic. And uh, that's P11. So again, it's another damage limitation race where we need to at least get in the top five, hopefully a podium. These two are getting very antsy. Is that the same two people who collided in Spa? If it is, that is quite hilarious that these guys are having beef uh, all day. Anyway, McLaren off, that's P7. Another McLaren off, that's P6. Thank you very much. And we have the Red Bull who is struggling as much as my voice is to do things right. P5. Thanks for the punt. Appreciate it. I better not lose ranking because of that, you absolute twat. Anyway, let's see if we can get him back here on the next straight. He's going really, really slow into the last corner. I could have dive bombed him, to be honest. That wasn't even me dive bombing. That was me just breaking my normal point. And here we go, Slipstream DRS, fastest up of the Grand Prix somehow, despite the leaders, including Zotac up ahead in clear air. Uh, looks like he hasn't quite got the pace of us in this Grand Prix. It's just a shame that we weren't there from the start. Um, he gets P2, we come across the line and set another purple lap, really just confirming the pace that we had. And unfortunately, just because of that slight extend that we had on the qualifying lap, just set us back massively over the course of that race. I think we literally just gained like two points. Two whole points from coming from last to a podium. Wow. You, you'd think that the game would reward you a bit more fortuitously than that. But I'll digress. We're off to the Hungarian Grand Prix next. This time we really do need to put together a good weekend, a good qualifying and a good race. I sound like an F1 driver here. Look at me. Awesome stuff. Anyway, let's uh, load the setup. Uh, I don't have a hungry setup, to be honest, so I'm just going to wing it a little bit. Um, higher downforce. We're going to go 4-9 wings, but I'm also going to um, 
take the ballast back a little bit because uh, tyres really do suffer at this racetrack. You, need, you really need to look after the rear tyres. Uh, otherwise, you'll fry them up and you'll have nothing left for the final two or even three laps of the race. These ultra soft tyres really do die off if you don't look after them. But anyway, qualifying lap, it was a bit conservative. I hit all the apexes. I was very conservative into the fast left hander at the end of the first sector. They come across the line and it is pole. Surprisingly, 7 tenths clear of Zotac, so there we go, that confirms the pace. And uh, let's just go ahead and try and win this race if we can. Five red lights for this Hungarian Grand Prix, and it is go time. Unfortunately, the curveball for us this time is the weather. Um, I don't know whether the weather will be good for us in this Grand Prix. Heading into turn one. We uh, ran wide a little bit, snagged the outside front tire, I think it was, that was uh, struggling to cope with the grip. And uh, we dropped down to P2, Air San Diego, who I raced with a little bit in this lobby. He was pretty fast, actually, to be fair, so uh, we might have a tough time of things in this one to get past him. He looks a little bit shady as we go through the first sector. Can we go up the inside here into the fast left-hander? It's not really an overtaking zone, so I didn't want to commit fully to that move. Unfortunately, so we're sticking in behind for now. It looks like he's struggling to adapt to the conditions I feel a little bit more confident than him at this stage So we'll try and strike early and get this lead back as soon as we can We don't want to give him a chance to get it customized to the conditions and then potentially have more pace than us Which it looks like he has at the moment lap two oh, We do have a purple lap time there, so we do have a bit more pace But lap three looks like he's stringing together a bit of a better lap here. I get a track extend warning so I need to watch out for that, that I don't get a penalty. Next lap, he goes purple, and I don't have the pace to run with him. So there you go. Losing the lead off the start. Maybe my setup is a little bit too aggressive. Uh, it is eight ballast, and there is the penalty. Damn. So maybe I went a little bit too aggressive with the setup in terms of the ballast. Um, the car was a little bit skatey. Maybe I could have had a bit more downforce on the car, but I've really just got to work with what I've got, and... What I've got so far is only P2, but we're going to push for P1. Hopefully he has a penalty or makes a mistake in the final couple of corners. I don't want to give up the campaign for trying to win this race. So we're going to keep the pressure on as much as we can. He has made a few small mistakes over the course of this Grand Prix, so we know that he has it in him. We just need to give him that extra little bit of a push to step over the line. But it looks like he's handling the pressure quite well here. Final couple of corners. It looks like he's going to hold on, barring any penalties. Final one, though. Don't hit that pit wall. That has happened so many times in F1 online racing, but he holds on. Diego, I think, wins the Grand Prix. We get P2, and it should be a few more points for the, the old ranking, but again, it's not that perfect weekend. We move on to Russia. I think this is the second last race of the episode. We got P2. It was a really good lap, actually. Uh, but Zotac just had that extra bit of pace. So it was really interesting to see the toing and froing between myself and Zotac and a few other people over the course of this lobby um, that it was really closely matched. Um, just some people were better at different tracks, which was really cool to see. But anyway, away we go. Let's uh, see if we can... Get past Zotac here. He's going defensive into turn two. We're going to switch to the inside. And I probably went in a little bit too deep there. Zotac has completely lost his marbles and has decided to sacrifice his own race to take me out. Are you okay? Zotac, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? We'll get a replay of that in a minute, but... Can we just take a second to appreciate what just happened? We made it through turn one and two fine. Yes, I did clatter into the side of him, but we were still straight. We still had track position. We still had our front wings. But this dude just completely wanted to sack off his whole race over that. What is your problem? We're now last. We're now 16th place. And in a five lap race, I do not see any salvation from here. What is this going to do to the online rank? I hope Codemasters are looking down on me with a bit of sympathy. Because otherwise, we could be sent back to the Stone Angels here. 
Across the line is P16. No one made any major mistakes, and uh, now it's time to find out just how much we're going to get shafted. Yeah. Silver rank. Hours and hours of racing, of winning races, getting pole positions, getting podiums, or top fours every single time for the best part of 10 to 15 races. One bad race. And it undoes all of that. All because of this. Turn one. I touched him. I touched him slightly. And he has completely lost his marbles and done that. And the worst thing is he got a podium. After all that. Where is the justice? Since Codemasters isn't going to do it, I may as well punish him myself. Get in the barrier, you absolute twat. Thank you so much for watching. This could be the final episode of Road to Master Rank. But if you think we should press on, support it with a like rating. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more racing game content. I can't believe this game. I can't believe this rating system. What a joke.